Now to the latest on allegations of bid rigging at Niagara County Community College. New tonight, 7 Eyewitness News investigative reporter Charlie Specht opens up another batch of emails from the president that may have deceived board members and state officials. New emails obtained exclusively by 7 Eyewitness News show that Niagara County Community College President James Kleizek not only participated in the bid rigging scandal we first reported last week, but he also sent emails that officials are concerned may have deceived the state and NCCC board members. He also put to writing lewd remarks and emails that appear to mock and demean former and current board members. In a 2008 email regarding financing for the Niagara Falls Culinary Institute, Kleizek and one of his vice presidents discussed the idea of taking funds donated to the project by the city of Niagara Falls and using them to match state funds. Kleizek and the VP said they were unsure whether that was allowed, and Kleizek says, quote, who is going to question if in fact we get the money from the city and transfer it to the county? How will the state know where the county money came from? Who would know or bother to follow this? Other emails show Kleizek and VP Bill Schickling discussing ways to make sure appraisals for the Culinary Institute do not exceed $20,000, so that the threshold for competitive bidding is not triggered. In another email, Schickling is not happy that a vendor was chosen to remove old signs from the Rainbow Mall, again without bidding or even written quotes. Schickling says, quote, Hopefully the auditors won't pull this transaction for testing purposes. Kleizek also at one point appears to be saying one thing to his vice presidents regarding bidding and something different in emails to the NCCC board. While the architecture bids were being organized in a way that appeared to favor Canon design, a setup that one VP called a charade of a bidding process, the president emailed the college trustees to remind them that the bidding was advertised publicly. He told them, quote, we've already received 35 inquiries. He takes a polite tone in that email, but in one from 2008, Kleizek sends an email where he appears to mock two then-current college board members. Quote, At 8, I will be in the car with the two grumpy old men on the way to Albany, Kleizek writes. At 3.30, there will likely be the change your depends afternoon break for all the trustees. Other emails are more off-color, referring to the private parts of one college official and stating that an unnamed person should, quote, French kiss the trustee in question. We reached out to board members and asked if they would like to comment for this story. They were eager to see the emails for themselves and said they would reserve comment until they had a chance to view them in their entirety. Now, again, we did try to speak with Kleizek for this story, but through a spokeswoman, he declined our request for an interview. One thing to watch, though, here, there is an all-college meeting Tuesday afternoon in Sanborn, and many are interested to see whether Kleizek will give his usual remarks or if he will have someone else do the talking. Charlie Speck, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, thanks.